What's going on guys? Today we are inside of Affinity Publisher V2 and in today's tutorial we are going to take a quick look at the pages panel for any of you guys that may be brand new to Affinity Publisher. So if we just pay attention over to the left hand side of the screen you can see that we have our pages studio panel and inside of here we have two different sections one being our master pages section and the other one being our pages section and the master pages we're going to talk about towards the end of the tutorial but for now we'll focus on the pages so currently inside of my document i only have this one page as this is the way that i've set this up if you guys are a little bit unsure on how to set up your project inside of affinity publisher then i do have a dedicated video which i will link in the top right hand corner now so feel free to go and check that one out first so moving on we have our page one selected which is going to be this one right here in our workspace in the center of our screen and the first thing that i want to do is go and grab the artistic text tool over on the left hand side and i'm just going to type out the number one and the reason for this is so i can show you that whatever we create onto our page right here no matter how much content we add to this we are going to get a live preview over here on the left hand side inside of your page one or the current page that you are working on and even if you go ahead and start moving some of your objects around it will just update in real time and this is going to be really handy for you guys when you end up with lots of different pages and you want to have a quick glimpse through just to find something you are looking for so next we're going to talk about adding some additional pages if you guys need more than one page and the way that we would do that is by selecting this icon right here of this page with this plus symbol inside of that and once we go ahead and we select that option then we're going to have this box appear just up here in the center of the screen and inside of this box we have a couple of options first one being the number of pages that we want to put inside of our document so for this demonstration i'll go ahead and maybe put in 10 then underneath that is going to ask us where we want to put these 10 pages whether that is going to be before page one or whether that is going to be after page one so there are going to be cases where you do want to start putting some of your pages before other pages but for this demonstration i'll go ahead and select the after page one and the master page option we have right here we'll talk about in just a moment but for now i'll go ahead and hit ok and now we can see over on the left hand side we now have 10 pages on top of our original page so we currently have 11 pages in total and we can navigate through all of these pages with this scroll bar right here on the right hand side and you can make your way all the way to the top or back down to the bottom so to access any of these pages quickly all you've got to do is double tap on those so if i double tap on page one that will navigate us straight back to that page one alternatively we can choose page three there's no content on page three at the moment so it's hard to distinguish that we are on page three but when you guys start adding a bit of content that's going to make it a little bit easier for you to find what you are looking for so if i just go back to page one by double tapping on that another way that we can navigate through our project is simply by scrolling through our workspace so you can see we've got page one there then we'll go on to page two page three page four etc and there may be times where you may create more pages than you need so if you want to go ahead and delete some of those pages and all we have to do is select any of the pages that you don't want we can either select one right here by clicking on our mouse and there are a couple of different ways that we can delete any pages that we don't want the first way being is just by simply right clicking on our mouse and selecting delete and now our page 11 has been deleted alternatively if we select page 10 we can make our way up to this trash can icon right there and go ahead and delete it that way and another thing that you can do is delete multiple pages at a time and the way that we would do that is by simply selecting one page holding down shift on your keyboard and selecting any other page that you may want to choose then go ahead and hit that trash can icon once again to delete those pages and another thing that we can do that you may want to do from time to time is duplicate pages and all of their content so right now i'll go ahead and i'll select page one and i'll make a duplicated copy of this by using this little icon right here with these two different pages and once we go ahead and we select that that is going to make a duplicated copy of page one and another thing that we can do is move pages around if you want to reorder those so at the moment we have six pages so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go onto this page two i'm going to change this to the number six then i'll make my way back over to the left hand side pages panel 
And the way that we would move some of these pages around or reorder them is by simply selecting this with our mouse and start dragging that down to where you want to place it. And you can see that we have this big blue bar appear next to the right hand side of the page. Once we go ahead and we let go, then that is going to reorder that page six that we just created into page four. However, you of course want to go ahead and put number six in page six. So we'll go ahead and we'll drag that down once again all the way to the end. And we'll go ahead and let that go. And now we have page six at the end and we've got page one at the beginning. And you can order these any way that you like. We can go ahead and put page two in front of page one just by dragging it up to the left hand side where we have that blue bar now on the left. Go ahead and drop that. Then that will move that in front of page one or we'll just go ahead and bring that back. So another thing that you may want to do if you find that you have hundreds of pages is be able to navigate to that page really easily. So at the moment, we've only got six pages in here. So I'm going to go ahead and create some more just as a quick demonstration. So I'm going to go ahead and put in maybe 500 pages. Then I'll go ahead and hit OK. And now we have around 506 pages in our panel on the left hand side. And we can navigate through all of this with this little scroll down bar. And you'll find that this could take you a very large amount of time going through all of these individual pages, trying to find what it is that you want. So a quick way to get into any page that you may want to find is going to be with this menu right down here at the bottom. So at the moment, it says that we are on page seven out of 506. And if we just look over to the far left hand side, you can see that we have this arrow right there. And if we select that, that is going to take us to page one. Whereas if we go over to the right hand side and we select the other arrow that is going to take us to our last page. And then we have these other two arrows just before those ones, which are going to navigate to the previous page before that one or after that one. So these arrows right here are used to scroll through one page at a time. So if you find that you want to go straight to page 250, the quick way of doing that is just by simply tapping inside of here, type in 250, hit enter on your keyboard. And now that will take us to page 250. And that is going to be really handy for any of you guys that may be writing a novel and want to go ahead and find any specific page that you are working on or that you need to go back to and reference from. So now we've talked about our pages section, we'll go ahead and talk about our master pages and what these are used for. OK, so what a master page is used for is a way of applying the same content across all of your other pages automatically. So maybe you guys want to put a header or a logo inside of your master page and have that appear across the rest of these documents without having to go into each one of these pages manually and doing that one by one. So if we go ahead and we go inside of our master page by double tapping on this, then what we'll do first of all is we'll create a quick header or a logo. So I'll go ahead and grab a rectangle just to apply a quick shape and I'll give that a color of maybe green. And now I've done that, you can see that the same rectangle copies across every one of our other pages and this will update in real time. So what I'll do next is I'll go ahead and I'll just put some text in here, maybe write in logo for where you guys may want to put your logo. And as you can see, that's copied across the rest of these as well. Then just at the bottom, I will go ahead and create myself just a little section that may have some contact information, such as a phone number or an email address. So that now is the master page set up how I would like that to appear across the rest of these pages. But like I said, you only want to have the content inside of your master page that you want visible on every other page. If we come into our master page and we just start typing some random stuff that we meant to put in just this page, what you'll find is that will also appear across the rest of these. And that is something that we don't want to do. So go ahead and delete that. What you want to do is come into each individual page. If you want to add some text or images or start creating your document, just do this one page at a time. As you can see, that's only applied to page one now and not the rest of these. And that doesn't affect our master page. So another thing that we can do inside of our master pages is have as many master pages as you would like. So what I'm going to do to be quick is I'll duplicate this one with that duplicate option right there, which we talked about before just down here with duplicating our pages. So I'll go ahead and I'll duplicate my master page. And what I'm going to do with this master B that we've now created is I'm just going to change the color of that rectangle to be maybe orange. And that's the only change that I'm going to make. And at the moment, you can see that nothing else has changed to that orange as we currently have the master A applied to all of these pages. And this orange one is master B. So if you want to go ahead and add this master B to any of your pages, 
Just simply select the page that you'd like to apply this to, right click on your mouse, go down to where it says apply master, then inside of here you either want to choose your current spread, all your pages, your odd or your even or specific pages, but go and change that from master A to master B. Once you go and do that and click OK, now you can see that page 2 is updated with our master B and now has the orange. Or alternatively, if you find that you don't want your masters to be applied to all of your pages, just a couple of them, then what we can do is select all the pages that you'd like to remove that from, right click on your mouse and just choose that clear masters option right there. Then that will remove both the master A and master B from all of these pages down here. And of course, if you want to bring them back, just right click on your mouse and go ahead and apply the master once again and choose which one you would like to apply. Go ahead and hit OK. And another way that you can do that a lot quicker is either by dragging your master A or master B onto the page that you want it to affect. So if I grab my master B and I drag this down and drop it on page five, you can see that is going to apply that master B to page five. And we'll go ahead and grab master A and apply that to page six. And another option that we have, if we go ahead and create some additional pages, you can see down here, once again, we have the master page option when we go ahead and create some more pages. If we just add a couple more pages, maybe three, if you don't want to add your master pages to those pages, you can simply go ahead and either choose master A, B or none. If we choose none and we create them three pages, then we're going to have three white blank pages at the bottom. So that's just a quick way of adding additional pages without masters applied to them. So finally, another reason that you may want to use master pages, if I just double tap on the master A, is if you want to go ahead and use guides. So using my rulers right here, if you guys don't see your rulers on the top on the left hand side, just hit command or control R on your keyboard and they will appear. What I'm going to do is just drag from the top here down to the center and let that snap into place. And I'll do the same over from the left to the right hand side, just in the center, let that snap. And creating guides is a good way of making sure that you can line up all your content to be in the exact same place across all of your pages. And now if we go to any one of our pages, you can see that we have our guides visible in the background. Apart from on this master B right here, as we didn't actually apply any guides to the master B. So if we go back to the next green one down here, we can see our guides once again, and the same on the following page. But of course we can come back into this master B and go ahead and create those guides as well. And now when we go into our page two, we're going to have those guides visible as well. If you find that you no longer want to see your guides once you start creating all your content, then just go up to the view menu on the top left hand side and just go ahead and turn off that show guides. Then they will disappear across all of your different pages. And just like in the pages section, if you find that you want to delete any of your masters, just go ahead and select that. And then we can go and delete that with a trash can icon just up here. Or alternatively, you can right click and hit delete on there. So there is my tutorial on the pages and the master pages inside of Affinity Publisher V2. And of course, if you guys are still running Affinity Publisher V1, then all this is exactly the same. And remember that you can add as many different master pages that you like with all different colors, maybe different logos or any information that you would like to appear on specific pages. Just go ahead and right click and apply your master and choose which one that you would like to choose for that selected page. So that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you liked it and you've learned something new and I will see you in the next one.